Next, it looks like we have to remove this. So we need to get down there to make sure. clips into this plastic part so just remember when you're putting it back in you have to clip that in I need to take this out two more clips in here go into there you uh, can yank on those and it will open the front. So we've got a tight situation here. Will this come off? Yeah we need to pull this guy off. It's been pretty easy so far. This is just uh, knowing what you're going to encounter. So hopefully this video helps right, you guys. There we go. Just need to unscrew this. Okay, so those are both there. I'm just going to grab out a magnet. I just don't want to drop these. So I'm just going to pull them out. All right, just uh, yeah, simple. Just switch. I kind of love it when things are easy. So these, you just super simple. You just remove this single clip here. There you go. Another spring here. Another clip. I mean, and that pulls out. So it looks like this is the same length as the other one. So I'm going to pop these springs, retaining clips I should say. So I'm going to see if I can just pop these in here. 
Okay, super easy. Done. Not hard. None of this has been hard so far. There. Struts are in. So it sort of looks like this would go in here and then connect to that spring. So I hate springs. They're always harder to get off than you think they're going to be. Except for that one. Comes in this bag, back here, and that's the spring. Now, I think we're gonna have to take this guy off. So, yeah, of course we are. So we get the other one in. So there's a little notch here. Go, I'm gonna rotate this down so that I can fit that notch into that slot, I guess you'd call it. Um, and so now it's captive. This one goes in, so you hold this piece with the long, with the, sort of in this orientation. So the angled slot and the hole are on the left the flat side is the flat the long flat side is towards this towards this uh, latch mechanism here so that is how it's supposed to look now we take the spring put one side in here stretch it put the other side in there okay so now we've got this whole thing set up, put this on here. Everything's been pretty obvious so far. Uh, well, coupled with my memory of what I read, I guess. Okay, so this is five millimeters. I want this little part to extend beyond the back there by five millimeters. And currently it's it's about flush. That's about half of where it should be. So let's tighten that, loosen that, see where that takes us. Just remember you have to hold it here because uh, this wants to turn. Okay, so this is the front of the car. Got the module back there. These two red straps are the emergency release uh, straps that you've probably read about or seen and they can be found behind this little door here okay so if you need to get into the car if it's an emergency you, you take off that little door you just pop it off and you'll see two red straps one with a um, a loop in it you stick your finger in the loop you pull pull down on it and uh, it will release the front so we're still retaining that safety feature this guy here was plugged into this this white um, connector here. Okay, I unplugged this. Okay, so now it looks like that. You'll notice on our cable, we have one that looks like that as well. Okay, so this is going to plug in instead, and then this guy, you're going to plug the old one into this. So I can't sort of hold the camera at the same time, but I'm going to put this. Plug it into there, and then put this in, and plug it in to this white connector right here. You can probably this guy has to feed back down 
uh, along with the um, with the old release straps. Okay, and we're gonna make it so that we can pull this and it will um, activate the the electronic lock. Plugged that uh, the yellow and red one in. Uh, now we're going to do the same thing here. We are going to intercept this original lock uh, motor wire. We're not replacing it. We're going in parallel to it. Put that in. You feel this lock click, and now you put this back into the original where the original one went in. The lock mechanism faces down. Okay, so now we, we're tied into the lock. Um, next thing is buzzer. This goes into the control box. Uh, this is state signal here, state signal here. It plugs into there. Okay. The uh, we're not going to be using the front can. It's LED. No. Uh, power. Obviously, we haven't hooked up the power yet. Uh, these, the struts are going to go into here, and the soft close automatic door, the module that we just put together, is going to plug into there. Okay, this is going to be how we get our power from the vehicle. This is fused. Okay, so anyway, power's gonna go into here. Super easy how everything's color-coded. And then this goes to ground, not uh, much of a problem there. And this goes to the to this guy, which is gonna be affixed to the battery. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I got this uh, frunk release button. They're intercepting the signal uh, so that this can act as a debug. So the original wire under here that went into this button, that instead we're going to plug this into, okay, plugging this into, and now we're going to plug this other one, which has the same connector as the, as the original, into the button. So we have all of the connectors figured out. These two, remember, just went to the lights that we disconnected to uh, take out the frunk. Um, the big remaining things are where we're getting our power from. And once we've got that, uh, it's plugged into the uh, module and we are going to be good to go. This is going to go on the positive 